Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a simple navigation system for our AI car here. So I will use the calculation system from the last tutorials. Uh, if you don't watch this it's pretty simple. I will explain it quick and dirty. So every street part here has his own navigation system. So it's a blueprint and we have um, a box collision and um, spline component and when the car hits the box it will just set the active parts to the spline component. So in every part here it will calculate the path and as well for the crossroad here. So the crossroad is the same system but with four directions of course with this box and line one, of course. What we want is that we just set the destination of the AI car, something in the world, and the car should calculate the best path to drive through the destination. So first of all, let's go to the AI car and let's create a variable that called destination. And of course, this will be a vector. And let's make it public that we can set it later for this car. Great. So we can close this one here. And now what I want to do is just go to the car here. We have the destination. And just for example, let's set it to this tree right here. So let's copy the location of this tree. So the car is behind here and let's set the destination of the three like that great so of course we have to configure the crossroads here so let's go to the crossroad and we go to the event graph and what i want to do is we create a function that we call calculate direction Great, this gets an input. This will be our car. So we set it to our AI car or whatever you have as an object, object reference like this. And first thing is we get the actor location. And of course the get actor rotation like this so and what we need now of course is we go from the car and say get destination that we created great so now we say find look at rotation uh, rotation sorry and the actor location goes into start and the destination is of course the target now we need a delta rotator to combine these rotations. And then we say map range, oh, claimed. The, we go here and on the return value and say split structure pin. So the Z value or the drawer goes into the value and we set this to minus 90, this to plus 90, minus one and one. Then we go out here and say float, because it is in float right now, is bigger than another float and float is below another float. And put this here to 0 0.5 and this here to minus 0 0.5. So now, of course, we need a branch. Go from the execute into the branch. And the first condition is, is the return value bigger than 0 0.5? If this is the case, we need a return value. And in this case, an output. This will be the direction. And the direction will be just an integer. 
So we take our return node on true, it will be zero. Copy and paste this on false. We go to the another branch like that. This will be the second condition is the return value below uh, minus 0 0.5. On true, we go again in the return value and set this to one and this to two. This is the default case. So we have the uh, return node for the um, when the car should drive right. We have the return value for the car should be drive left or just to move forward. So now the function is just calculating from the actor to the destination, the rotation. And if it's plus 0 0.5 or over 0 0.5 is drive to the right. If it's below 0 point, uh, minus 0 0.5, it drive to left and otherwise it drive just forward. Great, so now we need then trigger. So we have already our box collisions here. We have the spline, so it's pretty easy. On every corner is some box collision. And from this box collision in the front is some spline component, which is pretty easy. So we take our first box collision and say begin overlap. And then we just say cast to AI car. And this will be the other actor. Then we take our get destination again. And then we will make a condition. So is the vector equal like this one and leave it to zero then it's not set it. Then we need this um, branch here, put this inside the condition. So this means is the AI car destination set it to anything, then it goes to true. If it's not, if it's not set, it goes to false. So, and now we call our calculate direction. So if it's false, then we call it, put the return value into the car here. And now we need to switch integer. Put this inside here and we need a few more pins. In this case, zero, one and two that we set it. And then we go just from the car and say set active path. So be sure that you watch the select path tutorial, otherwise it didn't make sense here. Okay, connect the, of course we just copy and paste this right here. So we have three situations. And then we go from this point here and connect the situations. So the first situation will be right, left or just forward. So then we take a look. This is the box one. So we take a look. We go from this side here. So forward will be line one. So we take line one inside here. And as I said, this is right, left and front. So we take the line one to the active path right here and be sure that we connect the targets as well. So line one goes forward, as you can see, when we go from box one, it's line one. So if we want a right turn, this will be the line four. So take line four, this will be the right turn. And the, sec the last thing is we want the left turn, this would be the line two, as you can see. Great. So, and then we have the case when we not set the destination, so the car should drive anyway. So we need a random integer. 
and as well the switch on int, but we just need, yeah, as well the 0, 1, 2, put this inside here and this inside here. And again, we go, if it's front, uh, right, left or front. And we set the defaults to front or if you want, you can set it. Oh yeah, that's false. This one, yeah. So I skipped the copy process. So this is for every situation on each corner. So let's test if it works. As you remember, we set the destination of the iCar to this tree behind there. So let's hit play and check if it works. So in this case, he has to do a right turn. As you can see, it works. And on the next corner, he should do a left turn. Of course, it's the best way. And as you can see, it works. So you can set it to every destination that you want and the car will calculate the best way to drive through. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.